Section. Introduction. We're living in an era where artificial intelligence, AI, technology is advancing at an unprecedented rate. One area where this is particularly evident is in the development of large language models, LLMs, which are being used in a wide range of applications. One such application is Chat AI, where these models are used to create conversational assistants that can engage users in entertaining and informative discussions. The general trend we've observed is that the larger the model and the more data it's trained on, the better it performs. This has led to the creation of incredibly large models, some with hundreds of billions of parameters. While these large models are capable of impressive feats, they come with a significant downside. They require a lot of computational resources to run, and are often only accessible through public APIs. This has led us to ask, is it possible to create smaller, more efficient chat AIs that can still engage users and maintain the high conversational quality of their larger counterparts? While a single small model might not be able to compete with these larger models, we wondered if a group of moderately sized models could work together to create a chat AI that's just as good, if not better. In this paper, we introduce Blended, a new approach that combines responses from a group of base chat AIs. We found that this combined chat AI is not only highly capable and engaging, but can also outperform systems with significantly more parameters. We also found that the blended model seems to take on the best characteristics of all the models it's made up, and that by taking into account the history of the conversation, a single model can learn abilities from other systems. This results in more interesting and diverse responses, and a more engaging user experience. We tested blended on the Chai platform, where it outperformed OpenAI's ChatGPT, a model with over 175 billion parameters. We also found that users were more likely to continue using Blended than ChatGPT-based ChatIce, indicating that they found Blended to be more engaging, entertaining, and useful. ChatIce have been developed for a variety of purposes, from assisting users to facilitating casual conversations. Early models were based on rule-based algorithms, but these have since evolved into generative retrieval-based models. The introduction of pre-trained transformer language models marked a significant shift in chat AI development with larger and larger models being fine-tuned on conversational datasets. Traditionally, chat ICE have been trained using self-supervised methods on conversational datasets. However, more recent approaches have emphasized the importance of human feedback in training to better align with human expectations of an engaging conversation. Our blended approach doesn't focus on how to train better conversational LLMs. Instead, it shows that we can use a group of existing small conversational LLMs and get them to work together to create a single chat AI that generates more engaging and diverse responses. Combining systems has been a well-explored area in deep learning, with methods such as stacking, negative correlation learning, max voter schemes, and probability averaging being used for a range of regression and classification tasks. It's been shown that increasing the diversity of the individual members can lead to better performing combined systems. However, for generative language tasks where the outputs are a sequence of tokens, most ensembling approaches become inapplicable and ineffective. Sequence-level ensembling approaches get around this by often averaging conditional token-level probabilities of multiple systems. With an increasing trend of limited black box access to LLMs, ensembling methods that only use output sequences may have practical benefit. Minimum Bayes Risk MBR, decoding enables this by using system outputs to select the predicted best system output. With a growing number of deployed large language models, performing well at different tasks, we also observe the need for a method to combine outputs in a black box setting. They propose LLM Blender to blend the outputs from different language models by first ranking the outputs as per a pair ranker and then fuse the top K outputs using a separate deep sequence to sequence system, termed Gen Fuser. As with MBR and LLM Blender, in this work we also propose an ensembling approach that is able to combine outputs from black box language models. However, by designing our method for the specific nature of a multi-turn task, such as dialogue agents, our blended approach does not require all component systems to generate outputs but instead stochastically selects the system that generates the next response, allowing for model blending at the level of a multi-turn conversation. Section Summary in this section, the authors discuss the limitations of large language models, LLMs, in chat AI applications, such as high inference overheads and restricted access. They propose an innovative approach called Blended, where a group of moderately sized LLMs collaborate to form a chat AI that outperforms systems with significantly more parameters. Through large-scale A-B tests, 
they demonstrate that Blended is more engaging and useful to users, despite requiring less inference cost and memory overhead. Section. Chat AI. We're going to talk about the creation of Chat AI, or artificial intelligence designed for conversation. The goal here is to build an automated system that can generate engaging and entertaining discussions that people can interact with. We'll denote the user's KTH turn in the conversation as U underscore K, which is a sequence of words. Similarly, the system's KTH response is denoted as R underscore K, which is also a sequence of words. A specific chat AI, which we'll call Theta, models the likelihood of the next response based on the previous conversation history. During training, the system learns to assign higher probability to responses that are fluent, engaging, and high quality. Therefore, an output can be randomly selected from its distribution, either stochastically or through an approximate search process like Beam Search. State-of-the-art chat eyes typically follow a three-stage process. First, a pre-trained language model is fine-tuned on a relevant textual domain, like entertaining literature for an engaging chatbot. Second, a reward model is trained using explicit human feedback, such as user engagement as a measure of response quality. Finally, the reward model is used to improve the original language model, either by proximal policy optimization or by following a simple rejection sampling strategy. There are many design choices in developing a chat AI, such as the base language model, the conversational data used in fine-tuning, and the type of human feedback used to update the system. Different combinations and training seeds can lead to diverse systems, each with unique strengths and characteristics. We can then consider how a set of chat eyes can be combined for a system with overall better characteristics. In line with Bayesian statistical principles, the probability assigned to a particular response can be thought of as the average expectation taken over all plausible chat AI parameters. In practice, where we only have access to a finite set of chat AI systems, we can approximate the continuous integral as a discrete summation. Our approach aims to draw samples from the true ensemble distribution. To achieve this, each turn randomly selects the chat AI that generates the current response. During a conversation, the response generated by a specific chat AI is conditional on all previous responses generated by the previously selected chat ICE. This means that the different chat ICE can influence the output of the current response. As a result, the current response is a blend of individual chat AI strengths, creating a more engaging conversation overall. Evaluating the quality of chat ICE is a challenging task. Traditional approaches use human evaluators to score the quality of generated responses, which can be costly. However, since chat ice are deployed in social environments with humans, we can use statistics of user interaction as a measure of chat AI engagingness and quality. User retention is a standard measure of a platform's success, measuring the fraction of users that return to the platform k days after joining. We can compare retention rates from different models throughout the A, B testing period allowing us to compare the immediate and long-term engagement of different chat ice. Beyond comparing models, it's useful to extract retention curve statistics that can summarize a chat AI's performance with interpretable metrics. Empirical evidence suggests that the retention rate can be modeled well as a function of the number of days, k. We can use the gradient and intercept of the log-log linear best fit line to estimate the parameters which gives a useful comparison of the initial retention ratio and retention ratio decay rate relative to the control chat AI. Section Summary The objective of a chat AI is to create engaging conversations with users. This is achieved by training a language model on relevant textual data and using a reward model to improve the system's responses. Different chat ice can be combined using ensembling techniques to create a system with overall better characteristics. Evaluating the quality of chat ice can be done by measuring user retention and engagement, which are meaningful indicators of their performance. Section. User engagement. Let's talk about user engagement. While user retention is a valuable measure in the industry, it might not always align with the metrics that truly matter. Engaging, high-quality conversations are likely to hold users' attention for longer. So, we use a proxy metric for user engagement which is the average time a user spends on the platform per visit. We use a symbol, E, U, T, to denote whether a user is engaged at a certain time, T. We then define E underscore N, T, which represents the engagement of all users in a group, G underscore N, at time T. Just like with user retention, 
we can compare the engagement of different chat ice using an A, B testing setup. We define a ratio, R underscore N, T, to control the engagement in the test. We also find it helpful to have a single metric that represents the engagement score of a chat AI over time. We've observed that a good approximation for the decay of a chat AI's engagement can be represented by a certain model. This model gives us a ratio for the test to control engagement, which involves two parameters, delta alpha and delta gamma. These parameters represent the difference in the logarithms of two variables, alpha and gamma, for the test and control groups. By plotting this ratio against time, we can find a best fit line, with delta alpha and delta gamma as the intercept and slope, respectively. These metrics help us compare the engagement quality of different chat ice. Now, let's discuss our experimental setup. We tested four different base chat AI systems. Three of these are moderately sized, open source language models, Pygmalion 6B, Chai Model 6B, and Vicuña 13B. Each of these has been fine-tuned on conversational data and uses a trained reward model. We also tested OpenAI's DaVinci, GPT 3.5 a state-of-the-art chat AI with 175 billion parameters, which is only available through a closed API call. We deployed each of these chat AI systems in A, B tests on independent user groups, using real users on the Chai research platform. We conducted a large-scale evaluation with at least 10,000 users in each group, monitoring user engagement over a 30-day period. We also deployed our blended system, which combines Pygmalion, Chai model, and Vicuña. To account for external factors that might influence user retention and engagement, we only compared systems using relative engagement and relative retention, normalized to a selected baseline group. Let's move on to our experimental results. For each chat AI deployed on the Chai research platform, we calculated the user engagement for each day, K, in an A, B test setting. On the 20th day, we found that the blended system and OpenAI's GPT 3.5 had higher engagement ratios than the other chat ICE. The blended system, in particular, outperformed OpenAI's GPT 3.5, despite having fewer parameters. This suggests that blending multiple smaller systems can improve user experience without increasing inference costs, highlighting the importance of model collaboration over simply increasing model parameters. We also compared the user retention ratio on the 20th day. The blended system again outperformed the other chat ice offering significant performance gains in engagement and user retention, with speeds similar to smaller chat ice. Finally, we reported the engagement and retention ratio metrics for each system, with Pygmalion as the control. The blended system had the highest initial engagement and the best decay rate for the engagement ratio. Although one of the other systems, Vicuña, had a better decay rate for the retention ratio, it had a significantly lower initial retention ratio, indicating that it would take longer to reach the blended system's retention score. Overall, the blended system, which combines smaller chat ICE, provided higher quality conversations than a single, larger chat AI like OpenAI's GPT 3.5. Section Summary The paper discusses the importance of user engagement in chat AI systems and proposes a proxy metric, average time spent per visiting user, to measure user engagement. The authors conduct A, B tests on different chat AI systems and find that blending multiple smaller open source systems can significantly improve user engagement and retention compared to a single large chat AI system. The results suggest that model collaboration is more effective than simply scaling up model parameters in designing engaging chat AI systems. Section. Future work. Looking ahead. Our research has shown that blended, a combination of several smaller chat ice, outperforms a single large-scale chat AI like OpenAI's DaVinci, ChatGPT. In this section, we propose ways to further enhance the blended model to facilitate even more engaging user interactions. Scaling the selection set. Our experiments have shown that even with a selection set of just three component chat ice, Chai model, Vicuña, and Pygmalion, blended can outdo the much larger DaVinci GPT 3.5 model. This superior performance is due to the unique expertise of each component model, which together create a conversation with a diverse range of qualities. Therefore, a straightforward way to increase the diversity and richness of the conversation is to include more than three component systems. Adding more component systems doesn't increase the computational cost, as Blended's methodology only requires running inference through a single system for each response. 
future research will investigate the effect of expanding the selection set of component chat ice on the overall quality of conversations. Optimal selection distribution. As shown in the equation, Blended currently uses a simple approximation for model selection, where the probability of selecting any given chat AI, represented by theta underscore n, is equal to 1 divided by the total number of chat A's, n. However, while each chat AI, theta underscore n, may contribute something to the conversation, equal contribution from each may not be the best approach. To address this, we can create a better approximation for the model selection distribution. This involves using a deep learning classifier, represented by F, trained to predict the probability distribution over the chat AI selection set. This classifier identifies the chat AI, theta underscore N, that is most likely to provide the next engaging response, R underscore K. The classifier can be trained using standard signals from human feedback to identify effective and ineffective responses generated in conversations. For example, if the user repeats the response, it suggests that the response was not desirable. Future research will explore ways to design and train such a classifier, F, to allow for a more optimal distribution, P underscore theta, to select the component chat AI for each response, R underscore K. An added benefit of this approach is that we can introduce new chat ice to the selection set without risking a drop in Blended's performance, as the classifier learns to reduce the contribution from lower quality chat ice.